while we stay on these level one, level two, level threes, do they need to be FDA approved or anything like that? So when people buy them, because right now there's a bunch of sources available. I mean, I see prices from 75 cents a mask. Now we see 50 cents a mask. They're all level one. We're trying to get to level two. Is there anything that we need to be worried about, just like N95 or KN95, if there are on the FDA list or not? They should be on the FDA list. They should also, some of them do, some of them don't. They should have NIOSH certification, National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Mm -hmm. So for sure, they should be FDA cleared. They should have an FDA clearance number that they're approved for use in um, healthcare settings. Now, there's under the emergency use authorization provisions from the Food and Drug Administration, they will allow these KN95s, which are not FDA cleared, they will allow industrial type N95 respirators to be used that aren't cleared, but they are essentially the same as an FDA cleared N95 N95 respirator, they just haven't gone to the FDA and got them approved for use in healthcare. So mm -hmm. if, if you ask me, what would I do for people going back to work? I would find a resource for industrial N95s if I could, for medical N95s if I could. That's going to be my first line of defense. Mm -hmm. And then if I can't, then I'll go to a KN95 with another mask over it, with a, a level three mask over it. And I would wear a, a chin length face shield. And the mm -hmm. same thing, if it's a level three, I would wear that with a face shield. 